Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be doing an election prediction. This time, it's going to be looking into the future, looking into um, a different election, not 2024, because we already know who's going to be the Republican nominee and Democrat nominee, barring any tragedies at this point from happening uh, in 2024. So looking ahead and looking at some possible prospective candidates on both the Republican and the Democrat side. Um, at the moment, on the Democrat Party, it does look a bit blurry as to who is going to take the mantle of Joe Biden, even if Joe Biden uh, loses or if he wins. Um, I just do not see him running again in 2028 doing what Trump did. He's just, uh, in my mind, too um, old, I guess, to, to decide. And I just don't think the Democrats would nominate him again in 2028. So then who is next in line? You know, people would say, obviously, it should be Kamala Harris. The problem is with Kamala Harris is she's not as well liked within the Democrat Party. She didn't do that well in the primary. And in my mind, there are going to be other candidates out there that the Democrat primary voters are going to prefer to the vice president. If uh, Kamala Harris does in fact get the Obama endorsement, the Biden endorsement, she very likely could be the, Repub the Democrat nominee in 2024, but I just am not sure if that is going to happen. So with that, there are plenty of other options the Democrats and roads that the Democrats can go down. I previously made a election prediction, I believe, between Gavin Newsom and Vivek Ramaswamy. This time, I'm going to be choosing a different person. He's the incumbent governor of Maryland. He is pretty popular within his own state. Obviously, Maryland is a heavily Democrat state, but he is a relatively charismatic, likable person um, to be the Democrat nominee. His name is Wes Moore. If you don't know who he is, he's from my state of Maryland. I'm from the state of Maryland. And from the Republican side, uh, I'm going to pick the person who, and of course, there's so many different options at this point. We never know where we're going to be four years from now, but I'm going to pick Vivek Ramaswamy because he seems the most likely at this point in time to carry that Trump populist mantle that has so far dominated the Republican Party in three uh, primary elections. I guess you can count 2020 as a primary election, but three times now Trump has been the nominee. And if win or lose, I just, I don't believe Trump will run again in 2028 either. I think Vivek uh, would have done much better in 2024 had obviously Donald Trump decided not to run. Regardless, he still got a significant portion of the vote um, within the party. Anyway, let's get into this election prediction. Obviously, we're going to do safe Democrat states. All of these usual states are going to be safe this time, including the state of Colorado. Westmore is going to be very popular in the Northeast. Um, Democrat governor in a blue state. He's also very charismatic, very likable person. I wouldn't compare him to Obama. I'd actually probably compare him more to Bill Clinton, although obviously it's very hard to compare people to Obama and Clinton as those people are kind of like the epitome of um, those once in a once in a election type of figures that you get um, in American politics. I don't know if Westmore is that. We just haven't seen enough from him, but he does have that charisma anyway. Uh, safe Ramaswamy states. These are going to be the usual Ramaswamy states. I'm even going to include the state of Alaska. I think he'll win that by more than 10 points, which is the threshold for me uh, for a safe state. I'm also going to include the state of Iowa. Iowa has shifted in favor of the Republican Party very significantly over the last two elections. They have two Republican senators. They have a Republican governor. Donald Trump has won in Iowa by almost 10 points in both elections. The Des Moines Register poll had Trump leading Biden by 15 points in this election. The Des Moines Register poll is the most accurate pollster in Iowa's history. And at the moment, they have Trump leading. So if this trend continues the way it goes, Iowa by 2028 will certainly be a safe state, um, assuming that Vivek kind of emulates Trump in that populism and, of course, gets Trump's endorsement. Likely um, more states. This is going to include the state of New Mexico, the state of Virginia, New Hampshire, and Maine at large. Uh, is going to get him to 215 electoral votes. So not as many likely as safe, of course, but it does not narrow down um, as you get close to that 270 mark. Likely, Ramaswamy states. You're going to get the state of Maine, uh, Maine's at-large district is going to be likely in favor of Vivek Ramaswamy, as well as the state of Ohio, uh, with its 17 electoral votes. Very also dominant in the Republicans. Trump has done well in the last two elections. Not as dominant as Iowa, but almost at that level. For that reason, I'm putting it slightly below um, Iowa in that likely category, as well as the state of Florida, which has shifted tremendously in favor of Republicans in recent elections. Donald Trump won it by over three points in 2020. Barack Obama won it in 2012, and Trump only won it by less than a percent in 2016. Just with that 
national vote. It has shifted in favor of Republicans. In the gubernatorial race, DeSantis won Florida in a what was what was a, ultimately a blue wave year um, against Andrew Gilliam. Buck the trend, Florida bucked the trend, and DeSantis won it by less than half a percent, but he still won the state. Fast forward four years later in 2022, 2022 DeSantis wins Florida by 20 points. What a shift in Florida. Rubio obviously winning it by double digits as well. Uh, but that's it for likely um, Republican states, likely Democrat, excuse me, lean Democrat states, not going to be as many because there are going to be a few more toss-up states. Uh, this is going to include Minnesota, which is trending red, but we do have to see exactly how that happens because of also now increased Muslim support that could exacerbate or accelerate the trend in Minnesota. We just don't know at this point what will happen. We'll see what happens in 2024. Nebraska 2nd Congressional District will also be leaning in favor of Westmore. Heading into our lean Ramaswamy states, it's going to be the state of North Carolina uh, is going to lean in favor of Vivek Ramaswamy, as well as the state of Georgia, getting him to 211 electoral votes. I completely forgot about the state of Texas. That is going to lean in favor of Vivek Ramaswamy. I'm going to actually take Georgia out of the equation for now. Texas will lean in favor of Vivek Ramaswamy, getting the 235 electoral votes. Texas is shifting in favor of Democrats, but at a much slower race that, rate than many, many experts predicted originally. Uh, many people thought that Texas would certainly be competitive by 2024. Even by 2028, I still see it being uh, in the Republican column by a lean margin at the minimum. Uh, so 235 for Vivek. 226 has now taken the lead in this in this race, but now we head into our tilt states. So let's start off with tilt Ramaswamy. I already gave him the state of Georgia, essentially, so you can assume that that is going to be uh, out of the equation. I'm going to give Westmore the state of Michigan. I believe that Westmore will win Michigan by a tilt margin. I also believe that he'll win the state of Arizona by a tilt margin. You're going to see that blue wall go back and forth this time because Ramaswamy is going to win the state of Wisconsin, Michigan. Assuming, because it's Wes Moore and it's not Joe Biden, that Muslims are going to come out in favor of the Democrat this cycle, Michigan will go back to being a Democrat state. However, Wisconsin will go in favor of Ramaswamy, assuming that that shift does continue as it has. Wisconsin has narrowed up significantly over the last uh, few election cycles, and Trump is likely to win it. Not likely, but he has a pretty good chance of winning it in the next election. So Ramaswamy, nine electoral votes away from the presidency, and Wes Moore, 18 electoral votes away from the presidency. Where are the remaining states going to go? We head into the state of Nevada. I believe that Westmore will help the state of Nevada in his favor. So we now have the final state of Pennsylvania. It's the penultimate state in this election. Where is it going to go? At the end of the day, I believe that Westmore is narrowly going to defeat Vivek Ramaswamy and win the state of Pennsylvania, getting him 277 electoral votes to Vivek's 261, a nail-biter, my bad, a nail-biter of an election. Um, Wes Moore goes on to become the, now we'll see if it's the 47th or the 48th president of the United States, the second African-American to ever be elected president of the United States within a relatively close time period, uh, becoming president in January of 2029. Barack Obama left office January of 2017, both Democrat politicians as well. Anyway, 12 years apart. Thank you for watching this video. Please make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Comment below your thoughts on this election prediction and have a great day.